Hi, this is Mr. Toh from Economics at Tuition Genius and in today's episode of Be A Smart Bugger series, I am going to teach you all about this DATE framework, D-A-T-E framework that I've developed for doing and practicing case studies. Now, so um, I'm going to start off with asking all of you to think about you know, how, how happy you are with your case study scores. Now, are you always struggling to score good and consistent marks for case studies or do you usually, when you get back your case studies, you get like 10 marks, 11 marks, 12 marks, upon 30. Okay, and you almost never ever pass your case studies. Now, if you have that feeling, right, I, I kind of get that feeling, okay, I, I understand that feeling because when I was in J1, um, the very first case study homework that we submitted, I, I, I remember being very confident about it. Now, I was very confident about it, so when I submitted it, I expected to pass at the very least. But when I got the graded script back, I only got like a single digit score. I can't remember what was this score. I was single digit and I was very disappointed. So our my my econ tutor back then who was very confident, she was telling us that you know when you do case studies, there's actually certain skills that you need to acquire. So I think, okay, in general, right, if you are not doing well in case studies, it's not quite your fault. But it is the case that econs is a fairly new subject when you first get into contact with it in J1. Okay, it has a very steep learning curve because it's not a subject that most of us have learned in primary school or secondary school. And actually, case studies have very specific techniques and skills that you need to learn and you need to pick up. Right, so uh, in my classes, I teach my students right this framework that I think is easy to apply and easy to understand, which I call the date framework. I'm going to teach you a little bit about the date framework today, of course, in a short uh, video like this. I don't have time to teach you the full thing, but I'll give you a sensing of what this date framework is all about. Okay, now, date framework stands for D-A-T-E. They are not in order, because it's easy to remember, that's why we use D-A-T-E. D stands for data, A stands for application, T stands for theory, and E stands for evaluation. Now, generally, you don't need evaluation unless the question is a 5 marks and above. Right? Usually only 5 marks and above, then you have evaluation. If, you, uh, is, if, is, if it's below 5 marks, then you can just stick with DAT. Now, so it's not usually uh, in, in that order, DATE, but um, all elements are usually present in answering a high order question, DATE. Right, so the first thing first is when you read the question, you're going to ask yourself, hey, what what um, is what theory is this question testing me about? Okay, you gotta bring in in almost every single question you have to bring in the economic theory. So you look at the economic theory and then you look at the data. Alright, uh, is there any data that you can link the economic theory to it? Right, so um, for example, in most cases, right, when when you're for example doing a microeconomics case study, there's always demand and supply questions. Right, so what a lot of students tend to do, right, when they do demand and supply questions is that they look at, oh, abstract one. Abstract one has a key point, okay? So abstract one has a key point and uh, it was talking about how uh, uh, the economy has been doing pretty well and all that. And then and students will just say, oh, economy is doing well. That's what abstract one says. Then I'm going to go and say that because economy is doing well, demand for good X increases. Right, now this is applying uh, your your data, okay, using your data, okay, to apply without theory, okay, you have to always link back to your theory. What is your theory over here? So, the the relevant theory to bring in here will be your non price factors of demand, right? You so, so you learn various non price factors of demand, right? So like, what are the non price factors of demand? You have things like price of related goods, okay. You have uh, income level of consumers. You have size of the market. These are just some examples. So you have to find a which theoretical concept that I have learned that I can apply best to the data, right? So you look at your theory and look at which theory best can be applied to data and ask yourself, okay, what kind of concepts actually are required to answer this question? What concepts are you actually being tested upon? Right, so um, DAT, which means to say to apply, okay, your data to theory. Okay, or rather, sorry, apply your theory to data. So that is what you're supposed to do in almost every single question. And then for your higher order questions, you add in your evaluation. Right, so that is what the DATE framework is all about. So if you have the tendency to just state things, okay, without bringing in theory, without drawing linkages to the abstract, 
you're not going to score very well. Now, of course, this is a very, very short lesson, all right, uh, that, that I said I cannot cover everything within a short video. Now, um, sometime last year, I came up with this essay booster program and a case study booster program. Now, the essay, essay booster program and case study booster program, I created them when I realized that some students, hey, their content is very strong, right, but they just cannot do well in writing essays and they cannot do well in applying to case studies. They just generally don't do well even though when you ask them about the concepts, they say they understand, right? So they don't have the skills. So essay boosters and case study booster program is to help students to actually build up on their skills. So it's skill specific. Right, so um, the essay booster and case study booster program, when I created the program last year, students um, attended the class physically and because it's a physical class, um, we charged $800 okay, for both the essay program and the case study booster program. So that costs a total of $1,600. Now this year, you can access the essay booster program and case study booster program instantly on demand at a far lower price of $320. Okay, the essay booster program and case study program booster program will comprise of 14 questions, sorry, it will comprise of 14 lessons as well as two time trials. So you can go and um, attend them by signing up at tuitiongenius.com slash crash courses. Okay, I'll see you again.